What's going on, guys? Welcome to Icarus, a game that I was not much impressed with when it first released because it was a time-based open-world survival game, where now they've removed the time-related aspects, and you can now just go and do whatever you want, and I thought, we're going to bring it to YouTube. So I was playing this on stream today, and I was like, I was having so much fun that I wanted to bring it to you guys because I think I might be getting addicted. I'm not going to lie. So I thought I'm going to do a YouTube series because this game is pretty and oh boy, is it a lot of fun. And yes, we did land in a drop pod. <laughs> so remember, if you're enjoying the video to like, subscribe and also leave a comment and let me know if you want to see more of Icarus and where our journey is going to take us because we've got to do a lot of hunting. We've got to do a lot of building and we've got to do a lot of other good stuff. And yes, we're probably going to get mauled by birds at some point and all that. So let's crack on with what we need to do. And that would be just to grab our normal bushes and stuff. Like, I've literally only played this for three hours today. Literally live on stream. And I was like, to telling chat, I was like, do I, do I bring it to YouTube? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. So I decided, let's hit record. Let's get a video out. See what you guys think. And... Start a new journey. Like, I'm no expert at this. I'm super learning myself. And there's a lot of cool stuff. Okay, so I'm heading southwest right now because I know there's a little lake down here, which I'm kind of familiar with. And I think it's just going to be our little base of operations. Um, oh, we're coming past some pumpkins and some berries. At least we got a little bit of food to eat. And if I know my audience correctly, and I know you guys correctly, I think you guys are going to enjoy this game. Or you've either heard of it or you've even played it yourself. So I'm expecting a lot of you to, you know, to let me know some stuff in the comments. You know, go ahead, let me know and all that kind of good stuff. And I just want to see where this is going to take us because the way this game reminds me, it's like a more of a realistic Minecraft. Kind of. Kind of. So we do have a source of water down here. And I have learned a, a, like a, a tiny bit today. We can see some deers there that we're going to have to try and grab uh, and, you know, skin and all that kind of stuff. But at least down here, it is quite a far away. We can see on the map here, um, the map is pretty big. So you can see different biomes and there is different levels of enemies. So if we go over here, we're going to come across like, we're only, I'm only level one right now. And if we go up here, we can see a whole tech tree. We can see tech trees, um, like out the bloody wazoo. We got tier two here. You know, we've got all of these, tier 3, tier 4. Then we've got talents, if you want to start putting some points in survival, uh, habit uh, habitation, and then combat. But then also, if you're playing solo, this is active, as you can see, because I am playing solo right now. I will get these perks, which is a little bit easier for people who's playing by themselves. And then, yes, we have got accolades and all this good stuff as well, in case you want to do some personal achievements or even just if you're a completionist and we can see right now i've called myself bitsy because i've already got an, a, a, an account which i'm doing on the live streams um and we've got a little bit of you know items here what i've been grabbing we can see all of our information here on the right and hopefully you guys are seeing the quality of this as you can see i'm running in 4k i've limited myself to 144 frames i don't need that much because i'm getting about 90 to 100 right now i've got everything on epic I've got all my, everything literally on. Literally ray tracing enabled. It's it's a beast. This 4090 is insane. So I think I definitely want to build around here. I'm kind of coming around here. And I think I can kind of show a little bit of my knowledge that I learned today to you guys. So we're just going to continue grabbing what we can. And let me see if I can craft anything right now. I can. We're going to go for a stone pickaxe. So let's craft one of them. And then I also want to craft a stone pickaxe. So, wait, I craft a stone axe, but I also want to craft a stone pickaxe, but I need some rocks. So, let's just grab a couple of them. Then that will allow me to start mining some boulders and some chopping some trees. And the cool thing about breaking the rocks down, it's voxel-based. So, you can kind of see the rock just eroding away, which I find pretty cool. And I kind of like it a lot. It's not like I'm going to hit this rock for about, you know, two minutes and the whole thing's going to explode. There's a little bit of a mini game because when you're kind of going for this, you kind of like trying to hit the little bits and I kind of like it. And when it comes to chopping wood, it's just a simple, it reminds me of the forest. Um, the tree falls down, smashes, and then we just start breaking it down 
taking it into sections and then chopping this down into pieces we can actually pick up. And yes, we do have a carry weight, which down here we can see we've got 100 kilograms and that can be upgraded in our talent tree right here. We can see dense packing, we can increase the weight capacity and all that good stuff. And also, if you notice, if, if you keep looking up in the top left hand corner right now, I'm getting experience when I'm doing this. So every, every time I chop wood, every time I do rocks, I'm getting experience. And we've just got to level one. So now if we go into here, we have three perks available to us. So we can, you know, let's unlock the campfire, the wood spear and the stone knife. So let's do that. So let's get the campfire, wooden spear and the stone knife. And then in talents, we have quite a plethora of things we can go for. Because do we want to go down the survival, habitation, combat right now? Um, I don't know. There's there's a lot, a lot to choose from. And I like it. Oh, God. Wait. Wait. Oh, there's a wolf. 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 Can I quickly make a spear? Spear. Craft. Then also craft throwable spears. Let's get that on my hot boy. I wonder if I can try and kill this. He's level 25, though. 27. Yes, let's go. First kill, and I do need to make a skinny knife, which I do need two sticks. So let's grab myself a stick. Then let's make myself the skinny knife. And then we can... Where is he? Grab my spear back. And then we can just skin him. And there is a bit of an animation. And then we can take everything from him. But what I've noticed today... Is if I take this, if I leave that carcass there, it's actually going to attract more animals. So what I could do is I could just use my uh, hatchet and just start smashing the bones up to collect bones. And, you know, I could use them for like bone spears and bone uh, arrows and stuff like that later on. So if I wanted to and I was running low on food and I need food supplies, I could lay some bait over there and start attracting some more enemies. Which I kind of find pretty interesting as well. Right, let's take a little drink real quick. But it is it is fresh water. It's not salt water. It's a lake. So we're fine here. But if we go into, a, obviously, another biome, especially the desert, we're going to need to make sure we take, like, water skins with us and all that kind of stuff to adventure. Something big's over there in the tree line. I don't know if it's a deer. It is a deer. Right there. Right there. There is some wolves around here, so I've got to be careful. They're our like, main threat right now. I don't know any other enemies. I, I've only thing I've come across is deers, rabbits, wolves, uh, and that stuff. So one thing I want to do now is I do want to craft a campfire because I want to put the meat that we've just got from the wolf and start making me some lovely, lovely meat. So I can, let's just deploy this down, open this up, and then just throw our meat in there as well and throw some logs. And then just activate that. And that's going to cook. And the good thing about it, it's not going to burn. So if we look in here, we can kind of see it building up. And then once it's done, it'll actually get put on some leaves at the side of this. So eventually, I kind of know what I'm doing now. There's probably people telling me, you know, you can do this in this. In this yeah. Um, but like, I definitely don't know. It's going to get to a point where I don't know what I'm doing. And we're going to be in unknown territory, which I'm looking forward to as well. Um, but if you want to see some of this, I will be live streaming this on Twitch, I might do more of it. Well, I'm definitely going to be doing some more tomorrow, which is going to be Tuesday. So let's grab some more bushes because I'm going to need a lot of fiber. I can hear wolves. There's definitely another wolf nearby. Oh, yes. We, oxide. We definitely need oxide because if we go to our inventory, our oxygen requires oxide because we are on an alien planet. Well, I say an alien planet, but an unknown planet. Oh, he's seen us. What was that? I didn't even hold it, so I didn't even drop it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, God. Yeah, so there is weather events as well. So we need to take cover from that. It is it is wind, and it's only a... It's not a severe one, so that's going to start rolling in now. We should be fine for the food, but let's quickly grab uh, our meat right now, and let's, let's eat up. We've got some charcoal in it. I don't even know what we can do with charcoal, so uh, that's going to be something for us to experiment with. We might need to find some form of shelter um, to actually survive some of these hazardous um, weathers. There is storms and all this kind of stuff. I've not come across them yet. Uh, I was told that today. So, But right now, all we need to keep doing is just grinding on, grabbing supplies, 
earning experience, leveling up, unlocking new things, and so on. And yes, you can play this game up to eight players with friends, I believe. Um, so, you know, if you're picking this game up, this is not sponsored or anything. I just, I just like to promote the games I actually enjoy playing. Uh, and this right now is definitely one of them. So we're actually coming up onto level two here. Yep, there it is. Level two already. I believe I was told today there's up to 50 levels. So, which is it's quite a bit, to be honest. And you can have multiple characters. And if we wanted to, we can go back to the pod uh, that we landed in and take back off and start a brand new world. But the reason, like, I've had this game since release. And the reason I didn't like it, it was time-based. So, like, every seven days, you know, your world would reset. And I didn't like that. I'm going to be honest with you, you know. So I'm so glad they've just added an open world now so we can do whatever they want for as long as we want and just enjoy it and just chill. Listen to some chill beats and go fishing. Okay, so let's make a wood pile. I've got like a lot of logs on me right now because I've been doing some trees. So I'm going to make a log pile uh, and I can just place that down literally here. So if I want to... Uh, you know, I've got a pile of logs here, and if I hold to interact with that, it'll put 100 logs back in my inventory, uh, which is pretty good. My exposure's kind of going up right now, and I kind of need to, like, keep within the trees and all this kind of stuff to actually help that from not going up. But I'm looking for some oxide right now because I definitely need some more oxygen, and there is some right here. Bada bing, bada bosh. So let's just mine away at this. And then we just put that into there, and then we've got quite a... F so that will that will eventually go. There is some tech that I've seen, like a, an oxygen oxygenator or something like that. Uh, that's in the tier one section. Um, which is pretty cool. Oh my god, the silica as well. <laughs> the silica, yes, and the, I've, I've actually seen sulfur as well, so... Um, I don't know what we'll be able to do with it, but that's going to be for more advanced tech stuff later on. And eventually today, I kind of want to start working on the house. I want to get a base of operations up, and I want to get a nice little cozy place that we can, you know, keep ourselves warm against this weather and prepare for our adventures that we're going to be going on. Um, let's... I'm not going to aim for the bedroll just yet. I think I'm going to get the drying rack to put some meat on. And the torch. I definitely need the torch. Oh, a bow. Bow. And stone arrows. Yes, because we need to go hunting. We need to go hunting and we need to get fur. And I think I'm... Because we've just got the bow, I'm going to go to combat. And I definitely want to... Faster movement speed while holding bows. Cheaper bow crafting. Reduce stamina usage when drawing bows. Or faster bow reload speed. Um, Let's kind of go with... Uh, wait. Also, a crafty bows... And cross, uh, crossbows. Does that... Crafty bows have increased durability. Um, increased arrow damage. as bonus to arrow damage. Crossbows. I never knew crossbows was here. Let's go with faster reload. And now, are we... Oh, yes. We can make a bow as well. So let's craft one of them. And let's... How many... 25 arrows. I'm down for that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And let's reorganize my toolbar here so I can quick access my combat stuff to my gathering stuff. To my skinning stuff and now we have a bow which means we can go hunting and the search for you know what we need and vital stuff we need okay there we go i can see a an elk or something damn it damn okay so now that we've hit him what we want to do is come over here and find his blood and track him. So we can see that 13 seconds ago, he was heading in this direction, which we kind of know because we saw him anyway. So if we just keep heading this way, we should come across more clues. Here we go, deer injured. There he is. Ooh, right in his nostril. <laughs> so now we should be able to skin him, get some leather, get some good venison. Oh, not that one, hold. There we go. Good job, Bitsy. Let's grab all this stuff. Get some bones. Oh, it's a rabbit. Oh, I actually want to go for that rabbit. Just because that's going to give us fur. The deers actually give us leather mainly. Get the bones. And then skin the rabbit. Get some good pelt off you. Take all your items. I'm going to chop you up as well. 
Oh, there's actually sulfur and a lot of ox oxide across here. Is that a fish? It was. Oh, yeah. I don't know if there's alligators or anything. But I don't know if that was a piranha that trying to chase me then, because that... There was something in the water then. I had definitely heard something behind me. But anyway, let's grab this oxide. Also grab this sulfur. Not like I don't know what we can do with it yet, but I guess I can put it in a storage chest. I w it wouldn't surprise me if we could make rounds with this, some like rifle ammo or something. And yes, look, pistol, shotgun, rifle, all that kind of stuff. I hear a wolf panting. I do hear a wolf panting. Nice. I love how there's a sneak effect and the kill cam. It kind of reminds me of... Oh, um, Skyrim. Let's grab you. Let's chop you. Okay, so I'm in a bit of trouble right now. I tried swimming back to my base, but I'm stuck on this branch. And I'm getting attacked by these fish, which are, they are definitely piranhas. And I don't think I can do anything. Okay, let's click that. Oh, okay, so I think I got to, I think I just got poisoned. Um yeah, I'm poisoned. Venom solid drains health containing antivenom. Oh. Oh damn it. Okay. I don't think it's gonna kill us, but I got stuck on that tree under the water. And I had to use the unstuck in the escape menu because yes, it is an option. It is a voxel-based game, so kind of expect them stuff to happen. There's a good reason, you know, they've added them. <laughs> but it's good to know that I can get poisoned by the piranha fish. Oh, can I hit that guy from here? Maybe not. Oh, right in his eyeball. Oh, I've got to level up for that. Beautiful. Right, so let's unlock the thatch beam and the thatch floor and the thatch wall. So we can start organizing some form of structure on our base and stuff. But first, let's get our meat on the, uh, the campfire. Let's eat that up. I don't think I have anything... That helps me with this venom stuff right now, which is gonna suck, but we got a lot of food. Like, a lot of food. We've got this on here, which does spoil all the time. And then we got this, but we do have a drying rack, which we could put down, which you can unlock. Okay, so let's re repair them. Repair them. Okay, let's make some thatch beams. Then let's make some... Uh, some floors. And then, let's queue up some walls as well. Oh, I can't queue them. Why can I not queue them? Oh, because it's going to go into... Ah, uh, okay. I see. So, it's it's using these as we go. So, we're going to need more sticks and we're going to need more fiber. And hopefully, that will allow us to queue it now. We can. Beautiful. So, let's get these, put these in our hot bar and the floor. And the walls are currently queued, so it should be done now. And then I can put the walls onto here. And then we just go to our location. And it's very much <clears throat> like Valheim. So if you played Valheim, you've got to put your supports down to actually support your structure because there is kind of, you know, weight and all that. So we just put our supports down like that. And if we put this down, oh, come here, there. We can see that's green, which means, it, you know, it's a strong. If we put one there, that'd be green. And if we put one here, because it's close to the floor, it should go blue. Maybe? Maybe not. But yeah, if it's got if it's got support underneath it, it makes it a lot stronger, which is what we want to aim for. And then let's put one all the way along here. This is very much looking like my Twitch save right now, but that's because this is the only common thing I know. And... I guess it's a good way for me to kind of show a little bit of the people that don't know what this game is. Um, so let's kind of go with this for now. And then we're just going to put some walls down. And then if I hold R, I can put that into a doorway. And then we can put down our ceiling, which I do need to make some more of these. Let's make four more. And there we go. We have a small little house. Okay, so let's make a torch because it is starting to go nighttime now. And a good little tip I found from Twitch chat today, which I didn't know about, was in our inventory, if we actually grab the torch and put it into our slot here, we can actually 
have the torch actually equipped onto us so we can walk around while still using tools because me being an absolute spoon i was running around with it like this wait like like this and then when i when i was going to chop some wood i actually like <laughs> holstered it but yeah if you put it into this spot here we can actually walk around and then use our stuff now but we've got a nice little shack look how cute it is so there we have it. I think we're going to end this one right here. So please do let me know if you want to see more of uh, Icarus and just more of this adventure. Uh, so next time, obviously, it's going to come d uh, nighttime. So we're going to try and survive the night. We'll try and do some things during that. Try and go some more hunting. We'll just try and advance our little base and maybe do some more exploration. So as always, thank you so much for watching and keep smiling. <laughs>